All right, we're gonna have a party. What do you say, Mike? Let's hit it. All right. And make sure you put your seatbelt on. Air brakes and everything, look at that. Party time. Well, good morning or good afternoon or good evening depends on when you're watching this this is Joas from Montana Haven and I'm actually here in Grand Junction Colorado right now and I came down with uh, one of our employees foreman his name is Mike and we flew down here to Grand Junction Colorado uh, to buy some equipment for our new <clears throat> Amish farm to market store in Libby Montana and uh, what we're what you see behind me here is uh, <clears throat> these compressors up on a roof. I'm way up on a roof and we're having to uh, Take these compressors off the top of the building. We bought a big a five-door freezer and as well as some other uh, Coolers and freezers. We're renting a, a large Pence uh, box truck. We're hauling everything back to Libby, Montana But it's pretty this morning. Uh, you can see that there's kind of mountains behind us here And it's it was really beautiful flying in as you just saw by the pictures and uh, looking forward to uh, this little adventure. It'll be fun. So we're getting ready to load up. We got to go grab our loader. We have some other items in a different location. And uh, got to go grab those first, get our truck. We got a loader to um, get this thing off the rooftop and then uh, load up this truck. It'll be interesting because our five door unit is the same height as our doors. So not quite sure how we're going to get it in in the unit, but uh, into the truck. But we'll, we'll figure it out. So that's part of the, the fun, I guess. So we're in this. Uh, Rite Aid store that closed down But you can see they've got all kinds of a whole line of coolers back here And we're getting some of these coolers, but look at all this shelving It's a pretty good sized store. So we're buying This set five door set right over here. We're taking that home with us. So I'm trying to figure out how we can load it up We're here at a second store and we're getting we picked up this loader so we can load up this these pallets and freezers and stuff. And we gotta drive it two miles to the next place and load up the other pallets. Big box truck, 26 foot long. All right, we got everything loaded up at this uh, store here. Now we're heading back to the location where we uh, have the several small coolers in the five door freezer. And I'm following Mike, he's driving the loader and I'm driving the truck and we're heading over there, loading that up and we're gonna have to tie everything down and we're off. So there's Mike taking off and I'm following him. We don't have the shelving strapped down back here, so I'm really hoping it's not gonna just fall to pieces when we open the, when I look in the back when we get there. I'm trying to be real cautious, but that shelving is super slippery and it's, it was kind of shaking back and forth. So we will see what it looks like when we get there. It's about two miles, but we're going slow. Okay, now we've got our lift over here and we've got to get up on the roof and get that rooftop unit. Okay, we got it loaded up. Now it's down the hatch. And back outside. Back on the machine. And into the truck. All right, let's open it up. And I'm really hoping that this, oh yes, okay, good. Whew. I was worried there that that rear pallet, it's shifted a little bit, but it's okay. All right, we'll set this inside. 
Okay, see if I can get this inside without getting that all the way up. We got the last of it stuffed in there and it's a perfectly full load look at that five door uh, freezers two pallet pallet and a half of shelving the compressor for the top uh, for the rooftop unit and then we have four uh, little refrigerators here for drinks and stuff open air coolers and we've got here's the shelving for the inside of that freezer so boom the yada up, Mike. There it goes. We got it strapped down. Good to go. All right. Well, here we go. 14 hours to home. Heading down the interstate. It sure is pretty here. It's kind of in a hole with the Colorado River running through it. It's about uh, 2 2:50 the afternoon. And a 14 hour drive, so if we drive straight through, we'll get there wee hours of the morning, but we'll see how tired we get. Here's Utah. Wide open spaces. This is really cool through here. Amazing rock formations. We're driving in Utah here, and uh, an hour or so to Salt Lake City, I believe. Just the coolest place. I think close to close to Capitol Reef, or at least somewhere in this area. on us here we have to take it slow we're going over some mountain passes and it's snowing like crazy and can't make a very fast time in this weather well it is now Friday morning and we uh, decided to call it a night about 11:30 last night we stayed in Pocatello Idaho and now we're uh, we slept till about six got on the road now we got like another eight hours home. This truck is just pretty gutless. On any hill, it slows down to like 40, 50 miles an hour, so it's taking a while. Here we're driving through southern Idaho, and it's kind of open and not a whole lot of mountains, but we'll get into those a little bit later. But it was good to get some shut eye. I'm kind of tired from driving, so see our family later today if all goes well, which I'm planning on that it will. Fresh air. What do you say, Mike? I'm with you. Hey, look at that. There, see that cabin right there? Oh, yeah. We built that cabin in about I don't know, ten years ago. A little cabin right in the Montana Idaho state line. This place is called Monida, Montana, for Montana Idaho. This is elk hunting country down here. Yeah, look at that. Still sitting there. <laughs> 